This is Atlantis. Say hi, Atlantis. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> <laughs>welcome back to my youtube channel as you can see i have a new intro anyway for this video i'm gonna be doing my current favorite songs of february or for like the start of the year i tried to film this video last night but i ended up breaking my lamp that lamp there it doesn't work oops so if this video is coming out a bit late I'm sorry. I did this video in November and I had so much fun making it and I wanted to do it again. I haven't been listening to that much music this year because audiobooks have taken over my life and that's all I've been... <coughs> and that's literally all I've been listening to. So most of the songs I've been listening to have been from the radio, so this might be a little bit basic. But either way, I fucking love them. If you want to follow me on Spotify to get my playlists, my Spotify is Nefer Nuggets with a Z. So it's like Nefer Nuggets. But I'll have all my links down below. So without further ado, let's get into the songs. The first song I want to mention is Hillside Boys by Kim Petrus. I found this song literally right after I made my November current favorites video. And I was devastated because this song is amazing. I absolutely love her song, I Don't Want It At All. And then I found this one and I was mind blown because this song is so Good. This song has such 80s Madonna vibes and it's such a catchy bop that like you listen to it and then it will never get out of your head for like the rest of the week. And it's so infectious and every time I want to listen to it, I want to dance around the room. Oh shit, oops. Casually kick the tripod, Steph, why don't you? Wow. And honestly, Kim Petrus is so underrated. This song's great. is I'm Good by Wafia and it is a gem. This song is so vibey. Her voice is so soulful and it's so mellow and vibey and I just love it so much. Also, she's based in Australia, so Aussie girl. song is let me let uh, uh. the next song is let you love me by Rita Ora this song is such a bop and every time it comes on the radio in the car I lose my mind I love dance pop EDM and this is a bop <sighs> I don't even know how to explain my love for this song. I could get down in the club for this song. Even though I am the most antisocial person in the entire world and I would rather stay at home and read books than party. But if there was a party that I had to go to, this is like my go-to song that I would play. The next song is Close To Me by Ellie Goulding featuring Diplo and Sway Lee. And I feel like for these range of songs, they're all the same thing. I love this song the same reason that like a hundred million people on Spotify love this song as well. It's just so catchy and it's such a bop. Wanna be somebody without your body this next song is Nothing Breaks Like a Heart by Mark Ronson featuring Miley Cyrus. Honestly, it makes me emo for the Disney days. Like, you have no idea. The subtle, like, country vibe mixed with, like, EDM dance is, like, legendary. What is my Spotify doing? Honey, what are you doing? Excuse me. And it's another song that gets stuck in your head. And it's one of the reasons why it's on this list because it's just constantly stuck in my head. Well, this broken silence by thunder crashing in the dark. Next song is All the Pretty Girls by Vera Blue. This song gives me driving down a road in summer with the windows rolled down and the wind blowing in your hair kind of feeling. And it's so 
chill and vibey and I love it. The guitar in the background during the verses is so good and I just love it so much. I love all of these songs so much, okay? Like, jeez. <laughs> We have gotten to the most basic song throughout this whole video. Wow by Post Malone. Oh my god, I didn't even realize that. I said wow twice without even realizing it. Hi, I'm a basic white girl who has wow by Post Malone on her list. I can't help it, all right? I know Post Malone is so basic and every single white girl and her mum listens to this song, but I can't... I can't help it, okay? It's so catchy. It's just so, like, sexy and vibey. I don't even know how to explain it. And I love the beat. The next song is Soaked by Bean. And it is such a vibe. Sup? Ed Steph here. I discovered this song again through Discover Weekly and oh my god, I need to listen to more Bean because I'm obsessed with this song. It's so like dark and aesthetic yet vibey at the same time and I love it so much. But yeah, this song is just so good. mention a k-hip-hop song normally i just talk about english songs but i can't not talk about this song which is piss on me by 2xxx featuring dean and punch mellow it just has that aesthetic vlog kind of vibe and i just love it so much hey why are you trying to piss on me And I'm gonna be throwing it all the way back. But the next song is What a Feeling by One Direction. Never in a million years would I have thought that I would be mentioning a One Direction song in these current favorite songs videos. But here we are. I was at the grocery store and I heard this song playing and I was like, okay, but like, why is this so good? And why do I need to add it in my playlist like right now? It's such a summer bop. I can't not add this song. Like, it's so vibey and chill. And like, even though it was released like three years ago and I don't listen to One Direction anymore, I want to listen to this song for the rest of my life. You know what I mean? What a to be right here you now. The second last song I want to mention is Underwater by Cody Simpson. I thought Cody Simpson was dead. You know, I didn't know that Cody Simpson was still coming out with music until it was on my Discover Weekly. Like, I saw it and I was like, Cody? Is that you? I, like, temporarily forgot he even existed. Like, no offense. And, like, when I heard this song, I was like, take me. It's very chill yet a bop and I don't know if that makes sense. Like, the beat... And like the tempo of it is like so catchy. Just go listen to it. Go listen to all these songs because they are such bops and I love them. I'm underwater, the last song I want to mention is yet another Gabby Hanna. And it is Medicaid. And honestly, I am blown away. Like, this is probably her best song yet. And I know every time she releases a song, people are like, that's your best one yet. That's your best one yet. That's your best one yet. But I mean, I mean it. Like, this is so good. I love her voice when she sings more mellow songs. Like, more sad and softer songs. It makes me so emo and like it's so good and her voice is amazing i just love this song and i think it is her best yet and it is amazing can you medicate a 
I wanted to talk about. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. I love talking about music and I love so many other things as well as books and I want to like kind of like intertwine them if that makes sense. Let me know what songs you've been loving throughout the start of this year. My Goodreads and all my other social media are down in the description box below. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next week. Boop!